get packed up, but we need to get spot off. Follow me. I know the way. Right to Shady Bell. Be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Mosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, <laughs> every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Yep. All right. Be just down this path to the left here. So it's funny because you already start you seeing Joe has lots changed. It, you already see John starting to stray away from like what's what going on in the first Red Dead. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. God damn it, it's not pooping time. Okay, I got all my guns. There's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Church the rooms for any Lemoyne stranglers. This part seems good. What the hell is it you want? Didn't you get a message? That's a nice little place we got here. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Come at me. I dare you! Come out with your hands up! You can still walk out of here! Come out where I can shoot! Come on! Tough guy, right? Oh, I got him running away. And that fella's dead. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. 
you are some other coward. Like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. The carpet beggars. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. All right. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. <laughs> he touches Wiener. Everything all right up there? I'm a coming. I'm a coming. I guess that's the blissful end of the Lemoyne Raiders. Come on. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. There's probably some good alligators in there. Too slow, John. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Got them in. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this with all the bodies. Okay, thank God I don't actually have to do all of the bodies. Hey, welcome back. Welcome. welcome home, all of you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. Nor the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, <laughs> I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places. Maybe start with the saloon. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Goddamn right. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. 
<laughs> it makes it look really fucking dim and grim. <laughs> Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. I guess we're on to chapter four. Chapter four, Saint Denis. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Mister? Alright, hello! Alright, let's keep going then. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moines for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why hey, we love get it. A drink Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's going to happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Over here. Tell you the rest of the states, they lucky to have us. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now. How can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin quar. I'm so sweet. Why are you cocksucker? <laughs> All right. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know I get. Oh. Oh, hey, friend. You, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Oh, God. Come on now. That is unnecessary. All right, let's go see to them kids. I feel like this is another setup. Oh boy. Have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Oh, this doesn't feel too good. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tally. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? 
I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? When are you steal my guns? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you <laughs> little pair of shit. Let's go! That fellow looks angry. You better stop right now. Wait, I could have got on that. You give that back. Come on. Come on. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> Ow. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. All right, Dutch. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. <laughs> All right. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of Parasites, reptiles, and slime. 
We're a long way east to land we know, and far from real open country. Angela Bronte, man of honor. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy haired European that's clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. <laughs> this <is> the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? <laughs> Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. God damn it. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Mafioso. That's what we're dealing with here. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. This does not feel good for some reason. So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy, I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, 
Why don't you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. Come on. Let's get this over with. Just gotta take care of my horse. It's been a while. Come on, girl. All right. Let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I hope this is gonna end well for everybody. Thanks, Gowen. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. I'm sorry, John. This way. But we don't want to bolt it on us. Why are these some bitch? <laughs> That's always the best way of doing it. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. It's probably going to be way at the back of the cemetery. Cup. I 
here's something in there. You should clean your gun, John. Oh shit. First shot at us from <sighs> robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. <laughs> Cops are here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Oh shit. Come on, nice and slowly now. You got it, John. We did it without getting killed or caught. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. So, you were Come on, John. Let's just get back there. Hey, wait up. I'm waiting. You gotta stop crashing and shit. Us. He almost certainly is. 
Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we just see where we're at once we got Jack. All right, let's get this done. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. And old John being left to dry. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Alright guys, that's going to be it for another part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. This game just got really intense more. I can't wait to see how far we're, we're getting into this. It's, there's so many things, so many connecting parts going together. Uh, I wonder like if everything's going to come bite us in the butt in the end there with all the stuff that happened in Rhodes. Uh, there, we still have the Cornwall thing going on here at some point. Uh, so it, it's a pretty intricate story. I'm really enjoying it right now. I'm really enjoying everything about this game. It's so nice. Everything feels so good in this game. There's like the yeah, the the, the controls are a bit weird, wonkies once in a while, but it's still really fun to play. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Leave a comment below what you thought of the part, what weird stuff you saw in the game without spoiling anything. Of course, go follow me everywhere at Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here on YouTube.com for slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next video. Keep on keeping on.